Uh, hey guys, how's it going? I hope you've been well. It's been six weeks, in, six weeks since my last weigh-in, and I just wanted to touch base with you and let you know where I'm at right now. Uh, so ever since my last weight loss log, I have lost 6.6 .6 pounds. So currently I'm a 235.8, I believe. I weighed in this morning at. Uh, I'm really excited because I'm finally down in the 230s. And hopefully, you know what? I wonder if by Christmas I can be in like the 20s. Or like New Year's. January 1st, let's say. I wonder if I could be in like the 220, 225. That would be so awesome. Uh, today I actually went swimming for the first time. Um, what ended up happening was... After my last weight loss log, I hit a plateau for like three weeks, even though I was working out six, five to six days a week. I was eating super clean. I was doing my meal prep. Um, I was consistent and very dedicated, but my, my scale didn't budge and like neither did my clothing. Everything felt kind of the same, but I just, it was really just, you know, I hit a plateau and that's fine. That's inevitable. Um, it's going to happen probably more than once. And that's, you know, it's expected. The body adapts, it gets used to things. And the key is to just keep at it. Keep going. Don't stop. If you, if that happens to you, just keep on keeping on. Eventually you're going to break through and, and you're going to continue to lose weight. After about three or so weeks of that, um, I ended up starting to lose weight again. I was really excited about that. I just kept going with it and then I ended up injuring my neck and it wasn't even like a workout injury. It was something stupid. I'm pretty sure I slept awkward. I'm not even actually sure what happened. Um, but anyways, I ended up straining something in my shoulder blade and it just sort of messed up the entirety side of my neck. So I got a little frustrated because I was finally losing weight and I was trying not to aggravate my neck even more. Then my lower back started to act up and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to take a week off, give my body a break from like, you know, the strict diet, the constant working out and, you know, just, just breathe for a second and enjoy some foods that I haven't been eating for a while, right? So that's what I did. I ended up taking about, actually turned into a week and a half uh, off and... It was good though. I admit that I had a lot of Tim Hortons French vanilla or Tim Hortons French vanilla half coffee. But anyways, it ended up, I don't know if you can see or not, even though I have makeup on, it ended up making me break out really, really bad. Um, I don't know. Every time I start to drink French vanilla, this always happens. So that's one of those things that actually I shouldn't probably ever touch again, even though it's so good. But anyways, I'm back on track. I've been going to the gym. I've been eating clean again, doing the meal prep. Um, and I feel like the last two weeks is probably two to three weeks. Yeah. It's probably the majority of the 6.6 .6 pounds that I did lose is it, it, it happened in that time. So uh, I'm excited because I am going down. I'm in the 230s. That's exciting because, you know, uh, I haven't been there for a while. I'm happy to be swimming again. It's one of my favorite things in the world. It was an okay experience. I was kind of sad because the sauna was closed today and I was really looking forward to it. But that's okay. You know, things happen. Uh, I'm excited to go back again. I think I'm going to try to do swimming at least three times a week. For me, it just feels like meditation. I really, really love it. It's, um, I just feel free when I'm in the water and I feel like all my stresses just sort of melt away into the water. Um, and it's just, I don't know, there's something different about it. I really, truly love it. So I want to incorporate a lot of that into my, into my week because, you know, it's, I don't like cardio. I mean, who likes cardio? And, uh, but it's something, swimming is something that I truly enjoy. And I feel like, you know what, I need to implement that as much as I can into my routine in order to get to where I want to be. Um, overall, I'm really happy with my progress. Um, it's slow, but it's steady, and all I'm trying to recall or remember as things go on is that, you know what, even though it's a pound a week on average and it's slow, I'll never see that pound again. So I just keep telling myself that, and then you know what, even though it's a slow progress, it still feels really freaking amazing. My phone cut out for a split second, but I just wanted to say um, I'm just really excited to see where I'm going to be in six months and a year from now. I I know my progress is going to take some time. I would really, as much as I want to get to where I want to be, I'd rather just take the time. I think I keep saying this in every video. I, th I think this is more for me than anything else that I'm trying to convince myself that slow and steady is the best way. And it is. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited because I know it's going to take some time. Um, it is a lifestyle. It has become that and I love it. But 
you know, to be honest with you, aside from the aesthetic aspect, so aside from looking better, you know, being and feeling more attractive, the thing that I find that is the most invaluable is honestly, I just feel a greater sense of being alive and more confidence. Um, it's kind of been great, you know, um, overcoming certain insecurities and just sort of centering myself within myself you know sometimes you can feel really removed from yourself and I think that's when things can go wrong I just feel like I'm more in my body than I ever have been or have been in a long time and just more confident and that is more it is more valuable to me than the actual um you know weight loss for aesthetic purposes so I'm really I'm really excited about all those things so thank you so much for tuning in I hope you guys have had a wonderful month and a half and that uh you know you've made some great progress if you have any questions or comments for me please put them in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible make sure to follow me on all my social media uh especially Instagram I post a lot on there and I will see you back here shortly take care and I'll see you soon bye